Happy Friday. How you doing? Happy Offering Day. And here's what we got for you today. I've been waiting to do this. I've been waiting over a month. And finally, we got some of these in. We got some more coming. And so today, we're going to do this as our giveaway for everybody who does their offering and donation. Our new book, The Law of Attraction According to Jesus. This is a great book. Not very big, but it will tell you how to attract good things into your life. How to manifest healing. How to manifest abundance. How many of you know God needs you to live in abundance? And he needs you to live a healthy life. This book will take you there. It will show you how to attract that plus other good things. Actually, anything you want. Say, say this with me on this happy Friday. The rest of my life is the best of my life. Now, what we're doing is we're attracting a good life by saying that. Everything always works out for me. You want to attract that in your life. I am smart and getting smarter every day. Attract intelligence into your brain. Do you see what we're doing? Do you see what we're doing? We're attracting good things. I am healed. I am blessed. Talk like that. Watch what happens. Get this book. Everybody who does their offerings and donations today, uh, make sure you call me because I want to speak the blessing over you today. And make sure you text me your name and address so I can put this book in the mail for you. Most of you know how this works. We've got a lot of new people now who are following these videos. So get this book. If you've already bought one from Amazon, get one for somebody else. Or some of you will, will designate these books for somebody else. They'll send, they'll do their offering and donation, and then they send me somebody else's name and address. And when you do that, I will send them the book. Amen. I'll send it wherever you send, whatever address, name and address you send me, that's where the book is going. So we do that. Amen. We got a whole crew that will be here today and they'll start processing these and uh, we'll have them ready to go probably by Monday morning. So you can expect to get this next week in the mail. So praise God, the art of attraction, the law of attraction, according to Jesus. Learn how to speed up manifestation. Manifest healing. Manifest money. How many of you know you can actually manifest money? The book tells you how to do it. You can make money come to you. People say, Pastor Jim, <coughs> Pastor Jim, I need money. I know how to make it happen. We know how to make these things happen. We use the law of attraction according to Jesus. Now, Jesus said, and I'm going to give away the whole program right now, but Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty three, what things soever, oh no, he says, that's the next verse. He said, whosoever shall say unto this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that that which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatever he says. You can learn to have what you say. That is the law of attraction according to Jesus. Not the New Age Law of Attraction. The New Age Law of Attraction is, is where the, they, these people, they think that your thoughts go out into the universe and cause the universe to provide for you. I got news for you. The universe doesn't provide for you. The universe is a creation. It's not the creator. It takes the creator to provide for you. And that's God. God is the only creator. Therefore, God should be your only source of supply. Paul said in Ephesians 4, 19, he says, But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. When God supplies your need, folks, he only knows one way to do it, and that's abundantly. God does everything with abundance. 
Share this video with everybody you know. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Amen. Hit the like button on these videos because that's very important. The more people that hit that like button, the better placement we get. You can be an evangelist just by sharing these videos. Get this book today. If you do your offering and donations. Now, if you did your offering and donations Thursday, which a lot yesterday, a lot of people did yesterday, you're going to still get the book. So text me your name and address and uh, send it, send text that, that, and you're going to get this book. It's going to come to you in the mail. Glory to God. We are talking about the good life, the blessed life. This will attract the blessed life. This will attract the good things of God into your life. Learn how to do this. This is so neat. Manifest love. How many of you would like to have more love in your life? We all want love. We want people to love us. But we have learned how to attract a spouse. A good spouse. A lot of you ladies out there. I'm telling you what. We have, we have had a whole bunch of ladies find wonderful husbands lately. I get the praise reports. And people call me. You would not believe the praise reports we have been getting. It's just incredible. A lot of healing. A lot of that. We get, we get people healed right over the phone. How many of you know that the power in the name of Jesus works right over the phone? That's why this is the most unique and the most wonderful prayer ministry in the whole country. It's the only large ministry in the country where the minister answers the phone. When you call this ministry for prayer, I answer the phone. I'm the one who does all the praying. Amen. I don't have a whole... Uh, now, we got tables in this large room. We could set up a phone bank in this room with all these people answering the phone like a lot of ministries do. But no, I want to do the praying myself because I'm the one who gets prayers answered. Amen. That that's There's an anointing for that. There's an anointing for that. If I could find 10 people who could all do that, I would put, I'd put phones in their hands and set that whole thing up. But I don't know of other people who can do that. Amen. Years ago, we used to uh, be partners with this club. And they would call every once in a while and say, uh, can I pray with you about anything? And that was wonderful. And there were some times when we had some things going on in our life. And one time in particular, there was something going on in our life that I needed prayer for. Because I haven't always been where I'm at today, folks. And I'm and even today, I tell people, I'm not where I need to be as a Christian. But I'm not where I used to be either. I'm, I'm moving all the time. All the time, I'm improving. All the time, I'm becoming more like Jesus. All the time, my faith is growing. So I'm working on it. Amen, just like you are. Just like you are. Well, they called and this woman prayed. Oh my goodness, she prayed. Whew, did she pray? But guess what? I didn't get no results. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Most people, very few people, actually know how to get a prayer answered. Very few people. I'm one of them. Now, there are people who can do that. Kenneth Copeland can get prayers answered. Creflo Dollar can get prayers answered. Keith Moore, he can get prayers answered. There are people who can do that. But they are very difficult to get on the phone. If you can get a hold of Kenneth Copeland on the phone, he will get your prayers answered for you. But he's a little bit hard to get a hold of. Amen? You, you see him at the meetings, but you don't get to talk to him. Amen? Me, it's different. I've had pastors say to me, Pastor Jim, <clears throat> why do you spend all day talking to people and praying with people? I said, because I love God's people. I do this because I love to do it. Amen. I, there's no other reason. 
I do it because I love to pray with God's people. Everybody knows when I go out to breakfast with people, when I go out to lunch with people, when I go out to dinner, if that phone rings, I answer the phone. And why? Because the person on the other end of that phone is the most important person in the world to me. Partner with this ministry. This is what we do. This is what I do. You have total, all of our partners have total access to me. They call me up until midnight. People call me on their way to the hospital. People call me when something happens. People call me when they just want to get blessed. Monday, everybody knows is blessing day. People, my phone rings constantly from nine o'clock in the morning till midnight on blessing day. People want to get their weekly blessing. I love to speak God's word for word blessing over because God told us to do that. Why do you think I speak the same blessing over you every time you call? Because God said that's how to do it. And believe me, any blessing that I speak, any words that I make up are not going to be like his. He wants it done a certain way. He said, this is how you will do it. And he gave us the words. And I speak those words. And God said, when you do that, I will bless them. So, my obligation is to speak that word-for-word -word blessing over you. God's obligation is to bless you. And he does, because he's faithful to his word. But there's a blocker. There's a blessing blocker out there. The law of attraction, according to Jesus, also talks to us about how to remove bad things from our life. You can't just bring good things into your life Unless the bad thing that's blocking it, what we call manifestation blockers or roadblocks, are removed. You can't get the blessing of God into your life as long as the curse of the law is there. And believe me, the curse of the law is there. If you're sick, if you're broke, if you know anybody who is, you know the curse of the law is at work. Read Deuteronomy 28, verse 15 through 68. That is the curse of the law. You see any poverty, any lack, any failure, anybody losing their stuff, anybody being deceived, anybody who has had things stolen from them, any, anybody who is sick with any kind of disease or sickness, all that is under the curse of the law. Once that is broke, the entire curse of the law is broke, then the blessing can come in. It cannot come in while the curse is there. I am the only one who ever figured that out. I have never seen anybody else ever come up with that. And when I do that, see, that's what Kenneth Copeland did. Only he doesn't have a revelation of it. Keith Moore, Brother Hagen, all of them did the same thing, but they don't have a revelation of it. I do. And that's why I do that in the lives of God's people. Get this book. Shows you how to remove all the bad things. You can't get love into your life until you get the hate out. You can't get forgiveness into your life until you get the unforgiveness out. The bad has to go out. This teaches you how to remove the bad from your life and bring the good in. You can't, you can't save money and bring financial increase into your life as long as you're crushed by debt. This will show you how to get rid of debt, how to speak to it, how to cause it to go away. Do your offerings and donations today to help send this message around the world and then call me to speak the blessing over you because your offering and donation is supposed to be blessed, especially your tithe. And then text me your name and address. We will get this book in the mail to you. I am determined you are going to live a curse-free, blessed life. And I will make sure that happens. And I will use the power in the name of Jesus to make it happen for you. This book will go a long way toward helping you. It's an amazing book. You will be so blessed by this book. I want you to increase and we're going to make it happen for you.